Ordinary Time, this has been for Carly Simon. She has spoken openly about her battle with breast cancer, and thank the Lord, it's, it's a battle she's won. She's had to deal with the kids growing up and leaving the nest, and even a devastating case of writer's block and some depression. But like a true artist, she's poured all of these experiences into her music and emerged with her first album in five years. I'm so glad. I love her music. The album is called The Bedroom Tapes. And her strength as an artist and a woman is a source of inspiration to her countless fans. So please welcome back. We're very happy to have with us Carly Simon. <laughs> You are one of the most honest women I know. Honest about yourself, honest about your experiences. And I'm a mess, let's face it. <laughs> well, everybody should be such a mess. Uh, maybe you are, I don't know. Somehow it works. But in the bedroom tapes, you say that, that it was your loneliness that in, inspired you to write uh, so many of these songs. You've got two kids, you've got so many friends. Is it loneliness in here or? No, it's, it's you know, I, there's this, empty nest syndrome. And, the, and your two I'm kids sure are now out of the nest and my singing kids, on their own. My yeah. kids left the home and I was just, it, it's, it hurts. It really hurts mm. when they grow up. You want them to be independent and healthy and on their own and yet when they go you just miss them so much. And, is that what it is? And it was when, it was the year that I had been diagnosed with cancer yeah. and went through chemotherapy. And you know that's a, that's, that's a fairly protracted experience yeah. and so and a very spiritual one and I'm and I'm you know you could say are you glad that you had breast cancer or, or do you wish you hadn't you know I mean you got to have something and I'm, I don't think that's necessarily anything worse than uh, something else in other words we all have to go through it through things and that was actually not it, it, you know do you see the glass half empty or yeah. half full and it's certainly it? now I see it half full and you put this all in the music during the experience of that year, I was by myself a good deal of the time because the kids were away. My husband was there a lot, but he also works. And so yeah, I didn't mention your husband. I just mentioned the kids. Yeah. And I and and I didn't want to because of its being the protracted nature of going through yeah. chemotherapy. I didn't want to be a burden to anybody, oh. and I didn't want to say, yes, I need you to come over here today. And so I was always telling my friends, no, 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 don't bother. Don't bother to bring the chicken soup. Don't bother. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, I, I was sort of saving it all up for the last month. And then during the last month, I still kept on saying, oh, you know, no, no. I, I was so used to saying, no, no, don't bother. So in retrospect, I kind of wish I'd called upon people more. But I also want to say that because I was alone so much of the time, I went to music. I went back to music in a big way. I called upon that strong aspect of my life to fight a life-threatening disease with life. And now you're fine. I feel I less. feel great. And you, you <laughs> physically know, okay. Feel physically better than I've ever felt. You know, there is a, there is a line in one of, in one of the lyrics, uh, a song called "Scar," and the last line says, "Gone seems to be one of the sum of my parts." Did losing, uh, or did this breast cancer make you feel bereft? That you had really lost one of your parts? Is that? Well, you know, you, you, you lose one, you gain another. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I mean, I feel as if I, uh, of course it's a shock. Yeah. There's no question that losing a part of your anatomy that you yeah. have been, you know, that's been with you since you've been born. Everybody, every woman can understand. That. Yes, and, and there's, but I must say that the fear of it happening to me, we all as women are afraid that it's going to happen, and the fear of it was much worse than the reality. Well, you didn't have a mammography for three weeks. You felt a lump and didn't go to a, for a mammography for three years. Mm. Are you going to chastise me, Barbara? No, darling. I'm just glad that you're well. That's Thank all you. I care about. And I think the amazing thing also about this album is that you did everything yourself. You, you played the instruments, you wrote the music, you did the music, you recorded it in your own house. You did everything. That's how it started. I, I did all the eight-track recording myself, and then I took it and, and, you know, had some of my dumb parts replaced by smart guys, and, uh, and, and then had Frank Filippetti, who's my friend and engineer, 
do the whole mix at the end. But I, there are some great players on this album. Well, just to have you back again, just to have this album, I said I am such a fan, and we all are, and my pals out there are going to be furious if I don't let them join. And Carly is going to sing for us. You don't think we're just going to talk? She's going to sing, I think, two songs from her long-awaited CD, The Bedroom Tape. I love you, and I'm just glad you're well. I'll never chastise you. We'll be right back with Carly and the, and the ladies. Our viewers don't. to the max and setting it to music nobody does it better than carly simon here to sing so many stars from a brand new cd the bedroom tapes featuring harpist andreas bolenweider here's the incredible carly simon <laughs> Love you. 
thing I wanted to pick on you about, this one's been driving us nuts with her move recently. And I know that you moved from New York to Boston, but you only stayed there for two weeks. Then you That's moved right. to Martha's Vineyard. That's right. Okay, are you as nutty as Tibble here? <laughs> well, or is I, there a story behind it? The story behind it is simply that I renovated until I was, you know, finished with the house, with the best sound system, with the best carpets, with the best under, you know, wiring and everything. And then I moved in, and my first <coughs> night there, I went down to get myself a little snack. And there were, it was a family of rats <gasps> on in top. Boston? That's well, shocking. it was because of the big, <laughs> the big, the big dig just kind of yeah. dug them up. And they were in the kitchen. Yes, they're gone now. I don't want the tenants who are living there now, the owners of the house, to think that they're still there. Because oh, I got all of them. Did you have some problem with the neighbors too? Well, that was the next morning. Oh, okay. You were so making noise. The, no, the next. Well, that night, I went upstairs after the rats and I put on, <laughs> um, a, a, and I think it was probably Andreas Bollenweiner's album. I put it on my stereo and, uh, and just played it reasonably. I didn't play it particularly loudly. And the next morning I got a letter from the neighbor saying we're, we're very aware of your acoustics. Oh. 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 They didn't and, even know about the rodents. Uh, I would have opened my window just yeah, to hear them. No, you had rats in the, the house the kitchen, and next door neighbors. Right. Well, <laughs> the, the next door neighbors. <laughs> Martha's Vineyard, right? Yes. Which is a beautiful little island near Boston, actually. And, but it's, isn't it a little lonely there? You're there all year round, winter, summer. Oh, I love it. I just You like the it. isolation? You can either call it lonely or you can call it tranquil. And in this case, it was it's deeply tranquil and soul satisfying. And I love it. And of course, everything turns out to be for a reason. So these neighbors and the <laughs> got me to move full time to a place where I'm truly, truly happy. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm just glad of the time because we have a lot of teen uh, pop stars on, uh, like Britney Spears, who are wonderful in the Backstreet Boys, and I'm all for that. But it's wonderful to see somebody like you, who has been in the business so many years, emerge with yet another CD. It just it's, they'll be it's there great. someday. Someday they'll be coming on this show, and there'll be a whole crop of young ones coming if up. If they're as good as you, you know. Do. If they're as good as you. Do. Well, anyway. well, talent will die, and we're so okay. glad to have the very talented Carly Simon. Not just now, but later on in the show. Carly's going to sing a classic song. We have no secrets, but you at home can get her brand new CD. Hello, 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 hello. We're going to give you the beauty secret of Lisa Lang. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay right there. <laughs> we hope you're having a happy Memorial Day and enjoying the view. But first, back to sing her classic, We Have No Secrets, is Carly Simon.